Brantley Weatherford with us live tonight and the lottery is a big topic today. Mr. Weatherford, good evening to you. Good evening, Ben. I spoke with Klaus today about some financial issues and plans to combat these issues that will be discussed during the session. Representative Steve Klaus spoke this morning about financial challenges of the upcoming legislative session that include a few things the state is looking into. The big thing will be, will be prisons and we're continuing to see uh, what the governor comes up with in, in her uh, request for proposals to build three mega prisons and we won't get that till the end of April. So. Uh, that will be a big price tag there. Medicaid was another topic Klaus says is a big issue. But Klaus says they have some good news in that department that will benefit the state. What we call the uh, FMAP, which is the percentage that the feds pay versus what we pay in the state, they raised their percentage slightly uh, in the last few months. So that's going to save us about $20 million on Medicaid. So that, that really helped out. House also spoke about his lottery bill that would fund Alabama's pre-K program and scholarships, grants, and assistance for students. As for the Porch Band of Creek Indians billion dollar proposal, Klaus says they don't have a lottery figure. They just have figures for permits and taxes. They just have a figure for what the permits would be for a new location in Birmingham. Uh, permit for a northeast Alabama location and then for what a, a tax would be on those uh, particular facilities. And Ben Klaus says the education budget for the state is looking good this year and they have some surplus on income tax and sales tax. All right, good deal. Mr. Weatherford, thank you so much. This story will continue to follow in depth. Career tech